All right, I have my water turbine actually making power. Well, it's not right now. I turned it off so I can show you. But, all right. You remember the alternator that I had converted before to a PMA? It's still converted to a PMA, but um, I took it apart and I put rectangular magnets all the way around and so what difference does the square magnets versus the round magnets make for one thing they fit in there a lot neater uh, they fill up pretty much the whole space around the rotor um, and also i put them alternating north south north south and there's twice as many there are 24 magnets around that rotor now instead of 12 and what that does is the field changes twice as often or the north and south poles of the magnets change as they go over the coils more often which means that the alternator can spin half the speed that it's that it spun before and still put out the same results because used to every one rotation of the alternator was 12 changes in that field if you go to one point one coil it was 12 changes in that field which means that the generator was making power and going back and forth 12 times with that one rotation okay well with 24 then you got 24 for every rotation so instead of having to turn at let's say a thousand rpm to get it to just start producing voltage now probably around 500 rpm maybe even less um, i don't even know if that this spins that fast uh, let me show you some details of what i did to improve this stuff all right one thing is you can see i've got a different style of hose going up here and it's going into one here and one over here so i have dual nozzles and they are going through this is just a cap right here i drilled two holes in it and uh, jb welded some pipe nipples in there comes up and goes to this one comes around and goes to that one now let me unlock my little toilet paper holder here okay there you can see there's a nozzle on this side and a nozzle on this side and actually I've left it so that I can put a cap on it if I want to uh, make the hole smaller if I have to and I really don't think it needs it um, let me go and turn it on um, what it is I've got the hose unhooked up there the uh, yellow hose the orange hose just slides into that so let me go turn it back on here okay as you can see it's just spinning pretty good let me go close this cover so i don't want to get the camera wet so i'm not going to get any closer with the camera until i've got it closed up all right so what we've got is of course the water is coming in spinning the uh, pelton wheel 3d printed this is still the same pelton wheel i used last time and it's produced it's spinning the alternator that alternator is hooked to this wire this is three three wires in this and that's AC current coming down through here up the hill and we'll go to the other end of it here in just a minute all right now you can see it's spinning it's producing power 
It's actually right now charging the batteries up at the cabin. It's already hooked in up at the cabin. And the batteries are charging. Um, I don't know how much power it's really putting out. Uh, I, I can just about stall it out, but uh, I think it's putting out pretty good. It's putting out enough to charge the battery. And uh, well, let's make a little trip up to the cabin and I'll show you the other end. All right, now here we are on the other end of the uh, about a, I don't know, 60, 75 foot run, something like that. Coming right on up, up to, you can see I'm up at the cabin. And we've got our power coming in three phase, going through the rectifier, going up here, coming out into the solar charge controller and into the battery right here and our inverter you can see is is on it's getting ready to rain so i'm going to try to hurry up and <laughs> get this done it stayed oh i haven't turned the breaker on yet let's go in and turn on the breaker and see what we've got that uh by the way that is the cord that runs into the breaker box I'm going to change that out for a three prong, um, but right now that's all, I, that's all I had. i got to get a cord cap. I'm just going to use some Romex and put a cord cap on it, but this should work for testing purposes. Should do pretty good. All right, let's see. Turn on our, cross our fingers and turn it on. Ah, we have light. All right, now, I don't know if you can see both of these lights. Both the lights are lit. This one's flashing. I Means it's actually uh, more voltage than what it needs. Yeah, we've got 14, 14.2, 14.1. And what that thing does is whatever extra voltage you get in, it, it just shunts it. So keeps it from blowing the battery up. But all right, there we go. We have steady 14 volts. Maybe I should reverse my meters or my meter leads. Not really paying attention. There we go. It's pretty steady. That's with the lights on. That's all I've got up. Well, I do have my battery uh my drill charging too so with the drill the can y'all even see that y'all can even see that can you okay let me get that where y'all can see it i got it jammed in there enough where it'll work there you go there is the voltage that we are getting from the water generator into that battery and that is with all the lights running and a battery charger charging the drill and that's really all i got up here right now so yeah i think it'll be plenty because it's putting more in than what we're using until you move it the wrong way and get the leads loose there you go it's putting more in than what we're using so I call that pretty good. All righty, well that is my micro hydro power system for the cabin. It is hooked up and it's working. I'm charging the battery right now. Yep, it's still charging. Getting a good charge into the battery and I'm running the lights inside here and I'm charging my drill battery up so I call that a pretty good success for mainly just a bunch of junk that I threw together yep 
that all works pretty good. I may actually end up moving this box on the inside and I may have um, just have holes drilled out through the bottom of it so it can vent any gases to the outside. That way I have to make sure all my electronics stay inside and have easy access to my inverter and all that. But anyway, I guess I'll close that down. It's getting ready to start raining here pretty soon and uh, I'll probably go ahead and throw this inside anyway. But, yeah. Yep, that all folds down just like that. And it's, it'll be just pretty much out of the way. I mean, I can have this inside, no problem. I don't know if I'll put it inside or build a little roof over it out here. You can't never tell what I'm going to do. Anyway, that is my uh, water power generator, turbine generator, powering my off-grid cabin. Um, I think it will be just fine like that, but for when I get a TV up here and stuff, I do want the water wheel going too, at least. I may even get a couple of solar panels. Um, I know I'm going to get some for the bus anyway, but um, I may even slap a couple of solar panels on. Thing is, this area right here is completely covered by the canopy when uh, when all the leaves come on the trees. So solar is not going to do well right here. Now if I were to put the solar panels out a little bit farther, then then it might draw in a little bit of sun. But um, as far as right here, I can't put solar panels on this roof because they're not going to do any good. But I'll get, I would actually get some sun in the wintertime. But in the summer, I'm not going to get anything because it's pretty much going to stay shady, which is one of the reasons I picked this location was because it stays shady and it stays cool here in the summer. It's, it doesn't get as hot as it does out in the open. But the I think the water power will be plenty for my needs for up here. This will be more like a little weekend cabin come up here for the weekend and spend some time, you know, and uh, just have just the essentials, you know, maybe plug in a cell phone, I might have a TV going, um, turn on a few lights, that's probably going to be about it. Anyway, I think that's going to about do it for this little video. I appreciate everybody watching and I'll see y'all on the next one.